Kevin, wake up! Let's go, come on! Don't you want to run in the morning air? Come on, you promised you'd come. There's no need to get violent, bro. But I will snag these sweats if you don't mind. Want to give the old sweats an update? Cuff up the cut legs like this. Then take them over to the sewing machine. And put a running stitch over the fold. Now you have a cute new pair of shorts. But we're not done yet. Cut along the bottom of the pant leg. Then cut it into three different pieces. Back to the machine. Stitch two of the pieces together like this. Once you're done doing that, sew the third piece against the other piece. Then sew the remaining ends together. Now you should have a circle-like shape. Next, grab some elastic string and fold the ends over on either side. And after you sew it, it'll look like this. Okay, time to roll out that yoga mat and stretch! With some good workout tunes, of course. Gah! Is the world ending? That music is incredibly loud. I was fast asleep. I guess I'll get up then. Are we gonna work out? What's this? I don't remember doing an art project. Must have been crafting in my sleep again. Nice workout gear, Lily. I found this. Whoa. What, you've never seen workout gear before? Mystery solved. All right, I better get off to class. It's nearly 8.30. These new jeans are super nice. I just wish they weren't quite so long on me. See what I mean? I wonder if I'll regret wearing them. Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hmm, I wonder if any of my friends found a table yet. Vicky, over here, girl! Uh-oh, I sure hope she doesn't trip on those long pants. Oh no! She's totally gonna faceplant it in front of the entire school cafeteria! I sure hope you didn't want those fries. Yep, this is definitely gonna hurt. And boom! Floor, meet Vicky. Ugh, man, that was so embarrassing. Think that many people saw? Wish you hadn't worn those pants now, huh? Hey, I have an idea. These hair elastics are about to save the day. Roll up your pant legs into a giant cuff like this. Next, take one of your hair elastics and wrap it around the middle of the cuff before rolling it back down over it. Keep going, and the elastic will catch the bottom so they won't roll all the way down. Hey guys! Did you miss me? So I fell. It's not the end of the world, right? Oh, you guys are the best friends ever. Thanks. Another fashion crisis averted. Ooh, looks like we're partying tonight. And with parties comes having fun and chatting with your friends. But word to the wise, don't take a sip of soda before your friend gives the punchline to her joke. Oh my gosh, Vicky, I'm so sorry! It's all good! I'm just, uh, gonna run to the bathroom real quick. If you're ever the victim of an embarrassing spill at a party, don't freak out. Just think outside of the box. If you happen to have on pants similar to these, simply take your shoes off and place both of your legs into one of the pant holes. Be careful not to fall. Now pull the waist all the way up, covering your chest. What about the remaining leg, you ask? Simply put your arm through it, and voila! You're rocking a fabulous asymmetrical look. Yep, no one's gonna remember your unfortunate spill once you walk out in this number. Whoa, did you go shopping back there? You look amazing! Wait a sec. Were those your pants? 
it'll be our little secret. Well, let's raise a glass to happy accidents, shall we? Cheers! Alright, it's time to get our aerobics on! If you never worked out before, you know how important your attire can be. Yikes! Don't trip on those pants, Vicky! Ugh, this is so annoying! I keep having to stop to fix these things! Oh man, that fancy footwork is a disaster when paired with long pants. What were you thinking, Vicky? Okay, maybe this move will be a little safer with these long pants. Hey! You're on my pants! Woo! <sighs> I'm alright, I think. Phew, dealing with these things is a workout in itself. Wait a second. I think I know exactly how to fix this problem. BRB. Need some new, less dangerous workout pants? Instead of cutting them shorter, just change the bottom hem. Using regular thread, do a basic running stitch around the entire bottom of the pant leg opening, alternating the direction of the stitches. Once you've done the first side of the opening, pull the thread so that it puckers and tightens the whole thing. Once you've found the right size, go ahead and knot the strings and cut it. All right. I'm ready for round two! Check out these bad boys! If you have long pants like Vicky did, doing this can seriously save you from a nasty fall. See? What a difference! Well, that sure was a delicious lunch. And don't worry, Bella. This one's on me. It's pretty cold out today, so you'd better put on your coat and zip it up nice and tight. But what happens if the zipper on the one and only jacket you bought decides to take a sick day? Seriously? Ooh, that's a bummer, isn't it? How am I supposed to get this thing back on my jacket now? Don't pout, Bella. Believe it or not, a fork can totally solve this kind of problem. Ready to learn how? Stick your removed zipper onto the two middle prongs of your fork. And slide each side of the zipper into the piece and pull them downward. Hey! It totally worked! I thought I was going to have to live in this thing forever. And to think I almost stayed home tonight. Ow! Hey, watch your giant feet, dude! Whatever. What? Way to be a jerk. Ow! Hey! What's with people tonight? Ouch! Hey! Watch it! Oh, my poor innocent foot! I should have worn steel toe boots. It really hurts. Wait, is that soda water? I could use some of this. In a bowl, mix soda water, peroxide, and a spoonful of baking soda. Once it's stirred, drop in a pair of shoelaces. Wring them out and you're done. Oh, hey, dude. Where'd you find laces like that? No one's gonna overlook these feet again. You've got some serious style, bro. There it is. My brand new, beautiful hat. And not a speck of dirt is on it yet. Ah, just look how fly I look with this thing. Oh yeah, this is good. <laughs> be cool, be cool. Boom! Yeah! Oh man, your face! Hilarious. Dude, your new hat is sick. <laughs> Think I can pull it off? Careful, it's new! Okay, can I have it back now? Wait! Brilliance has just entered my body! Try and catch this thing! No, 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 please, don't! Whoa! 
Oh, my bad, dude. Where's my hat? Is it okay? Oh, no. It can't be. Oh, horror of horrors. My new hat is covered in someone else's gum. Oh, man. Look at that stain. Oh, yeah, that's pretty gross. Sorry. How am I supposed to clean this? Tough one. Wait, I know. Snag printed fabric and cut it to fit the brim of your hat. Using hot glue, cover the brim. Before it dries, stick the fabric on. Excess fabric? Just cut slits in it like this. Then put hot glue underneath the brim. Carefully fold the fabric onto the glue. Now put glue on the rest of the brim. This way you can cover it with matching fabric. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Is it just me? Or does this thing look better than before? Yep, this hat's truly one of a kind awesome. <laughs>